Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to take a look at the look around command. That's right, today we're going to look at the most non committally named thing look around. You know, it's just kind of like, well, I'm just going to look around, you know, and I'm not going not gonna to commit to anything. We're going to take a look at this command. This is a great command for exploring models, especially interior spaces. Uh, it can be used exterior, absolutely. But the idea of the command is you can lock into a single location and then, like you're standing there, look around inside your model. So let's take a look at how that works right now. Okay, so I got this little little room without a ceiling thing here going on, and uh, it's got a bunch of stuff inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the position camera command. So the position camera is not part of the default toolbar, it is in the overflow menu. It's down here towards the bottom. In the bottom, we have this last section here, just before the edit button, which has a bunch of the view commands. Right in the middle is position camera. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to just tap in the middle. And it's going to put my camera, where I'm viewing from, right into the model. And then we'll take a look at look around. So when you use position camera, it does automatically put you in look around. If you ever want to get into the look around command just by yourself without having to use position camera, it is also in that bottom section. It's right here, look around. So I can tap that. And what that does is that changes the way that your input device, whether this is your, your pencil, your finger or your mouse works because what's going to happen now is I'm going to grab my view and I'm going to basically change where my eyes are looking. So if I want to look to the left, I'm going to put my finger or pencil on the screen and I'm going to drag to the left and that's going to turn my view in that direction. Like I said, no matter my input device. So as I look around like this, look up, I'm going to drag up, look down, I'm going to drag down look to the right, drag to the right. And this is basically exactly what it does. It lets me look around. There's no modifier keys. There's no other things you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, any specific gestures, anything like that. When you're in look around, you tap, drag, or press drag, and you will look around the screen from there. Like I said, this command works really well when I'm inside of something. If I'm on the outside, so I'm if I'm you know looking at my model from the outside, it, not quite as as useful. I could do something like what would it look like to look at the front of this building and drop myself in front and then look up and and look around that sort of thing. But unless I have a full immersive model created, look around from the outside of a structure is not going to give me much more than looking at it, but dropping into the inside of a room is great with look around because moving through a model, like trying, trying to orbit or something like that. Let's turn on orbit just for fun and see uh, how well this doesn't work for me. If I turn on orbit and I start, you know, I'm, I'm orbit spinning the model around the point that I'm clicking on. So I'm not changing my view of the, the model from where I'm at. I'm actually grabbing the whole structure and spinning it around the point that my finger's on. Not how you would actually experience being in the room. Look around on the other hand, like I said, lets me turn my head like I would if I was standing inside this and actually see the things that are here. So a great command to explore space and super simple to use. Like I said, whether you're using your mouse, your pencil or your finger, it's just a matter of touching and then moving to look around your model. This is possibly the quickest square one we've ever done because it is such an intuitive and simple command. Uh, it does have its place though. I know we get we get hung up on orbit, right? We, we all like taking our models and spinning it around in orbit. And it's really easy on the iPad too to just tap your finger on the screen and then spin your model around. It's great, it really is great. But like I said, when you're inside and you're trying to see the space from the inside, Look around is a great way to explore space like that uh, because it doesn't move the model. It just changes where you're looking. So check it out if you haven't already. It is a good command and pretty, like I said, obviously pretty easy to use. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, leave us a comment. 
Do you use look around? Have you, do you have a specific way? Is there a specific type of model I didn't mention? Do you think we should have another command or, or, or workflow that we should show on this series? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more. They're showing something you want to see. Thank you.